Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host, Veteran Mountain Man, and today is another episode of Prepared Monday. Since I have been seeing more of this kind of stuff, I wanted to go ahead and talk to everyone about preparations that need to be made for you to feel ready should some of the worst happen. Uh, Right now I've been seeing a huge push from the left on trying to force gun control legislation in every state. And there's even an attempt in the federal house, though I don't expect it will actually go through. Now, I will actually talk about the House bill tomorrow, so I'm not going to talk about it in depth today. But you can go take a look at it yourself. It's available online. The thing, though, that I'm wanting to bring up is that should you be concerned about this activity, which I am and you really should be, is that you need to make sure that you're prepared should things go not the way you expect them. Many people aren't actually planning should some of this get passed. Now, I am currently working out a travel plan and a pack-out plan to migrate myself from Oregon to another more gun-friendly state. Because the Oregon bill, while it may not pass, will probably be put back onto the ballot again and again and again, just like they did recreational pot, just like they have tried to do with the death penalty, just like they have done with sales taxes and many other things. And they will continue to put it on the ballot until they get it or until the population just gets rid of all the gun controllers from the state by stopping them from putting it on the ballot anymore. Now, that being said, I don't trust that outcome, so I have already started making my plans, and I probably will enact on my plans at the end of the year. But you should start thinking about your own plans should your own state decide that they're going to enact gun control. Now, one of the things you want to make sure you have is a clear exit route. There are so many ways to get to so many different places in the United States that you should have a detailed driving plan drafted up. You should make sure you know where you're going to turn, when you're going to turn, what exits you're going to take from which interstates to where. And make sure anybody in your convoy or anybody traveling with you knows the entire route. That way, everybody can stay on track and you don't have to worry about it. I would recommend having hard copies of this as well and not relying on your cell phone just to continue the route. The reason being is cell phones die, batteries degrade, uh, charger cables break, And while you can replace them depending upon where you're at, you don't want to end up in a stretch of wilderness where your cable is broken. You don't know which direction you should be traveling or whether or not you should be taking an exit and be completely lost by the time you finally find civilization and then have to try to reacquaint where you need to be going so that you can complete your journey. That is not a way to do it efficiently. So you should definitely pre-plan that and have a printed copy. You should also make sure that you pare down to what you need. It's very easy to overpack when you decide to migrate, but don't do this. It will actually cost you time, cost you fuel, and cost you capability. So make sure you only take what you're going to need. Well, I know that this is kind of doomsday-ish compared to many of my other prepared Mondays, but I did want to go ahead and give this out. Also, make sure that when you plan your method of egress, that you're looking at weather conditions and that you have secondary and tertiary plans based on different weather patterns because the United States is not an easily predictable weather pattern country. It's part of the reason that we have many of these uh, crazy global climate change conspiracy theories uh, because so many of these areas you'll get different patterns every year and it's not that the patterns are necessarily wrong it's just they're not the same year to year and so you can't accurately rely on the weather to be the same year to year well thank you all again for joining me please don't forget to like and subscribe or thumbs up and subscribe if you're on bit shoot also don't forget to check out my other 
channels on all of the different social media listed down below. And as always, be prepared to have yourself a great Monday.